We are a nation of citizens, not a nation of immigrants, Bannon gave Libs Epic B8 down. Democrats and some misguided Republicans like Senator Lindsey Graham of South Carolina have been talking up how we supposedly need illegal immigrants to have a pathway to legal status and even citizenship. President Donald Trump's former White House chief strategist Steve Bannon, however, sees through these half-baked ideas. He was recently documented in the new book Bannon, Always the Rebel by Keith Caulfield telling it straight why it's a lie that Americans are better off with more immigrants. Detailed Caulfield, Bannon says, We are a nation of citizens, we are not a nation of immigrants, correcting what he believes is a common misperception. So now we have to start to act like citizens come first. All policy should be oriented to making the working people in this country and the middle class in this country have a better shot at success. And we've gotten away from that. What we've done is brought in huge global competition for their jobs, for their schools. Bannon went on to point out how the mass influx of legal and illegal immigrants makes for huge profits for corporations and their CEOs at American citizens' expense. Koffler explained, the low-skill, low-wage, non-English-speaking people entering the United States from Mexico are taking jobs from Americans, Bannon strongly believes. The people most affected by illegal alien labor, is the black working class and the Hispanic working class, he said. Go into the inner city. That's why they're not paying a guy 12 bucks or 13 bucks to flip burgers at McDonald's. Because they don't have to. They get all the labor they want. Kaofler added, Bannon seeks not just to end illegal immigration but he wants to vastly curb legal immigration and reduce the number of refugees the United States takes. Until we have the black working class and the Hispanic working class getting high-value added jobs, we've failed as a society. To me, citizens first. And we don't need a million immigrants in this country. Particularly, we don't need a million immigrants that don't come with a real set of skills.